there's a resistance in our culture to um, not, if you're not willing to open yourself up, and this, I think the way in which the culture has evolved, you think about reality television, and you think about Oprah. I think Oprah has been the, cul I think she's really been the culprit of this, in my opinion. I think she's the chief culprit of, of elevating a sense of victimhood and making that, commodifying that victimhood. And YWEP stands in stark, in stark opposition or resistance more, I would say resistance, resists that victimization being commodified. So the young women don't have to get up in front of funders and donors and tell like, what is the worst thing that's ever happened to you stories. And in the traditional ways in which we raise money in our culture, in the traditional ways in which we attract attention, stories play a big role. Um, and I have no, I understand that. I understand that people want a face and a story in order to relate to that, in order to feel like they can contribute and help support your project. YWeb has very much resisted that. I think what they're doing is righteous work. And I feel very strongly that they're going to be supported continue to be supported um, by people who understand that. I know that doesn't sound, that's not a strategy for how you get yourself out there more. It's not, you know, um, it may not be a comfort in the times when you're struggling to keep your doors open, especially in this economy. But ultimately, I believe people are going to see the value of working to support young people to become not just to be leaders in their own lives, but we are responsible for, I think, really trying to produce a generation of people who are gonna have massive challenges because of the dereliction of duty, basically, from the previous generations and what's being left behind. We had better make sure we've got some strong, kick-ass young people who are going to be prepared to handle the challenges for the future. I think that YWAT produces those kinds of young people. Um, I think YWAT produces those kinds of young people. I think uh, Project NIA supports those kind of young people. I think the Chicago Freedom School supports those young You know, I think there are groups, and I think the more we can build on the work of those types of organizations, I think the more we can, maybe that's the answer. Maybe the answer is that our movement building is what's going to push it forward. I don't think YWEP on its own can do it by itself, and I don't think they're planning to make that the case. I think they are integrally, um, they understand movement building, they understand why it's important to be part of a movement and not to be an individual organization, and that that is at the core of the values of the organization. So I think we're going to have to build that movement, which is what is going to shift and perception to the extent that we can.